I am sitting on a child right now, a ghost child. It's very scary, but he seems to be excited about it, so I'm excited too. Can't get you out of my What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to some more Roller Coaster Tycoon World. So last episode we did build the wonderful Mountain Express here, a wooden roller coaster that goes through a mountain I created. Now we're going to go back to the 100 mile per hour coaster and hopefully complete this thing. I did in fact learn how to delete track, which is huge because that was the biggest issue I was having. So we're, I'm going to delete it all the way back to the initial drop. Um, and try and tweak this a bit to make it a little bit more stable. The first thing I'm noticing is this curve should not be like that. I want it to actually curve inwards so I can do um, a bend later on. Actually, I'm going to go all the way down. Again, this thing's really finicky. Invalid location. I don't... Oh, why is it doing that? See, like th things like this are so damn weird. And I don't know why it's doing that. So I'm just going to go back here, lay this track like that, and then we're going to continue on with this kind of bent track. Hopefully, can I go something like this would be great. I'm hoping I can go over the water again and do some sort of bank churn over here. That way I can lose some of this inertia that I have uh, that's giving me all these issues. So if I actually go up a bit... Does it really affect it? Not really. So we should be okay to do something like that and then just keep going over. Okay, let's see how this is working though. I don't actually know. I haven't really checked it in a long while here. So we're going to see if this thing's able to do this whole track. The only part I'm really worried about is this initial drop. You can see there's not much space here. So I might actually hit it. But no, actually we're okay. So you're going to go around here. Uh, I, you guys have seen all of this before, I'm assuming. That, I'm actually amazed that it's able to do this crazy-ass churn here that probably will break someone's neck. Uh, but there we go, we're gonna go up here. I should maybe change from chains to boost tracks, though, because I don't like the fact that it's slowing down a lot. I mean, I got a lot of chain tracks here. Obviously, this whole thing is chained. But for right now, I'm just going to leave the chain tracks. I want to actually complete this thing first, and then we'll tweak it a bit, get, getting rid of some of these chain tracks and changing them for booster tracks. Uh, but as for right now, that's working flawlessly. Perfect. Okay, I'm going I'm to make a, a corkscrew here, an upwards corkscrew, hoping I can actually keep these somewhat similar. Again, there's no real way to really keep it similar. That's looking really good, though. I like that. And then maybe we can bank it the other way all the way to the end. I was hoping to do a loop, but loops are actually really freaking difficult. So maybe now we can, yeah, bank it. Let's turn the rotation over this way and start banking it to the ending. But I am definitely learning how to do this thing now. It's not as bad as it seemed initially for me, and I think a lot of people are complaining about the track builder. It does take some getting used to, but after you get used to it, it really isn't that bad. So there we go. Um, we are officially done. I didn't put any brakes or anything on it. I just want to see if this actually works. Okay, the initial part worked just fine, which is to be expected. We have tested that quite a bit. Now, I'm just curious to see if I have enough speed to go all the way around this corkscrew. Oh, yes, and then some. Actually, we fall off there, so a bit too much of a turn here. We're going to have to edit that out a bit. Uh, if we stretch it out, something like... That, I think it should be a little bit more safe, but it still is a very hard churn. Uh, it's all white, though. That's what's confusing me. It's saying, the actual game's telling me this is okay, but uh, obviously it's not. Okay, we're going to do friction brakes here. Uh, we'll keep the brake force the same, but this is red over here. So, I'm just trying to figure out if there's any way I can set this up so it's not red. I was figuring that the friction brakes, let me see if I up the brake force a little bit, like 7.75, does it make it safe here? Or does it not even know how to take that into account that I'm slowing down? You know what, let's just try this. It is red, but I think the friction brakes are going to make it safe. Okay, and down it goes. Now, the big question is, is it gonna fall off this time? Looking good so far, but this is where it fell off. Yes, oh my god, there's just too much speed there. So I'm gonna have to slow it down. Maybe I should do another loop even, uh, just to give it a little bit of a slower run here. So yeah, I'm gonna delete everything over here 
because it's still getting it still has way too much speed so we're gonna make another loop around if I can okay there we go and then uh, the unfortunate part now though is I'm going to have to do a little bit of a drop which is going to speed myself up but I think we should be okay again we're gonna want to slowly rotate this the other way it is yellow right now but it should okay there we go be white after a little bit so yeah we did it we leaned it from the left to the right when we turned out of here hopefully it doesn't fall off that is a crazy turn though look at that thing I might need to put some brakes at the top there I will find out in a little bit here uh, if we can in fact do that I'm going to slowly start evening this out as well uh, let's do something like that and then Oh, man, this is going to be really difficult to even out. Yeah, you can see it's getting red, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I put some brakes at the end here. I'm going to up the brake force to about 8.2. I want something that will brake hard because I still feel like we're going to be going really fast, especially considering this part of the track is all going downhill. So I'm just going to get more and more speed to the ending here. So I'm going to need some really good brakes to hopefully stop me. Now, assuming everything's done correctly, we got a nice new corkscrew here. We should be okay if those brakes will work. Let's find out though. And here we go with the final big drop off. I actually really like this drop off because they actually go down it upside down. And by the end of it, they are right side up. Here's the corkscrew and the final turn. Wow, we are going really freaking fast. Oh my god, that was perfect though. That was a pass. So we got a safety rating of 6, nausea rating of 4.65, definitely a lot more than the other one. Intensity is only 1.32, so we could do a little bit more of that, but excitement is way up there at 8.69. Now the big question is, was I able to keep my 100 miles an hour? Because I did change this a bit, and in fact we have been able to at 104.4 miles an hour after the initial drop. So, our 100 mile per hour coaster is in fact that. I'm excited about this. This one finally worked out for me. Okay, now it's time to name this thing. We're gonna call it the Vomit Comet, something that every mother would love their children to be on. I could change the emission price if I want, but again, we're not earning money right now, so we don't really need to worry about that. I don't think you can really do anything else in here as well. Operating mode, I, number of trains, oh, I can up it, so can we do, okay, maximum I can do is two. Perfect, that's, I, good thing I went in there, because I didn't know that. And let's open it up for the public, I forgot to add a queue line, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's do that. I mean, it is open, but no one's going to be able to get there until I do a queue line. Okay, I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit more popular, uh, and we don't really have much space in there for people waiting. So I'm going to make these queue lines a little bit longer than my other one. But we're going to do the typical queue line back and forth all the way to the end. Um, oh, I probably should make this a little bit longer and right to there. There we go. And now I just got to make an exit. I wonder what happens if you don't make an exit. Are they all just going to be stuck there until they die? That'd be pretty fun to try out one day. Uh, for right now, though, I'm going to be an innocent guy and make a nice little path to the ending. Okay, so there goes the first train car, and there's just one... What? There's one lonely ghosty on there. Uh, the other ones are coming in, though. Do, do I have to add another train car or something? Like, I did change the parameters to allow two train cars, but I don't see it popping up. They're just waiting in line here. Okay, I'm going to edit this, though. We're going to go to train. Um, I guess I could change the color of it, but again, I don't... I think it just automatically adds the second train. I don't know why it's not adding it right now. Now, I can add more seats, but I'm worried that the weight shift will actually screw over my track system here. If I add more weight, obviously, it's, its terminal velocity is going to go up a bit. So it might be that multi-carts are just not implemented into the game yet, or I did something wrong. I don't know, but I'm just happy we got the big coaster done. You can see, compared to my little guy over here, don't get me wrong, this is a pretty big coaster, but this one is definitely a hell of a lot bigger. And we may as well do first person. As sad as this first person is, I am sitting on a child right now. A ghost child. It's very scary. But he seems to be excited about it, so I'm excited too. Anyways, first drop. And again, I don't know why my coaster went back to white. We did paint it gold and red. But for whatever reason, it's white again. So I might need to change the paint. <laughs> Holy shit, that, that's a really fast corner when you're in first person. You don't really notice. And we got the second little drop coming in. Whee! Oh, yeah, that's cool. I, I like it when it goes by the water. It feels like you're going to kind of hit the water. And here's the big one. 
God, this is pulling us right up vertically. That's awesome. And it slowly spins us upside down. Yeah, I really like this drop off. The, considering we're upside down when it starts going fast. There we go. Whee! All the way down. There we go. We're going 100 miles an hour into the corkscrew. Uh, I really like, actually, this, this, this corkscrew turned out really well, considering I thought it would be so uneven. To a stop. Oh my god, what a stop as well. That was awesome. Um, I don't know why, but part of Vomit Comet is all the way over by the Mountain <laughs> Express over here. I don't even remember this one falling off. That's hilarious. But I don't know why, but this one's actually not working right now. There's, I mean, it's there, but there's no one coming over to it. Maybe no one likes wooden roller coasters. I probably gotta open it again, though, for whatever reason. But you can see there's not many ghosties over here. They're all going to the Vomit Comet, of course. Wait, why are you leaving? <gasps> what the hell just happened? Did it... Okay, can I only have, like, one thing opened at once or something here? Because everyone that was in the queue is now leaving. I'm really confused. Okay, I did actually just notice the reason this fountain isn't working is because it's not actually attached. So I'm going to have to do this again. Again, really finicky, but there we go. That is officially attached, so I can get rid of this extra lane here that just is an eyesore. Uh, sorry, ghosties, I didn't mean to block your pathway. But there we go. That's looking a hell of a lot better. I can't seem to get rid of this little thing, though. Okay, there we go. I just had to redo that. Um, so there we go. We officially got the fountain fixed. Everybody seems to be going over to the Vomit Comet. Very popular ride. Okay, so now that the Vomit Comet's done, I'm pretty proud of myself. We got two working roller coasters. I just want to make this place a bit more pretty here, so I'm going to put a few random things down. Ooh, we got a Mayan Temple. Yes, please. Let's just put that. Do I have to rotate it? Oh, yeah, that 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 is definitely the front of it. Okay, it's invalid location for whatever reason. That's good right there, though. So we're just going to put that right there. Bam. Now, can people go into that? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I just... <laughs> Okay, there's another cart right by the pathway. This is definitely not a safe amusement park. <coughs> oh my god, okay. And again, my freaking pond has evaporated for whatever reason. Don't know why this is happening, but it's enjoyable to add water to the game, so I'm not really complaining too much. Again, another cart over here as well. You know, we're just gonna keep those there as memories of the people who died testing this ride. Okay, get some more tropical trees here if we can. There we go. This is looking like a nice little tropical island now. Um, again, we should probably put trees everywhere because trees are inviting. So we'll put some over here. Let's rotate it so they don't look exactly the same. Uh, get some palm trees here as well. There you guys go. This is going to be fabulous. Almost forgot the street lamps. Can't forget those for the nighttime amusement park dwellers. Um, we're going to put them all the way down here. I still got to build some stuff over here. I think I'll kind of make it westernized over here because it's a wooden roller coaster. Western's a lot of wood, so yeah, I think I'm going to do kind of a western style when we get over here. But yeah, so far so good. My makeshift kind of sad park is coming together. All right, I, I'm, this is going to bother me if I leave it there. Uh, we got to bulldoze this. It's not letting me bulldoze that, really. So I can't get rid of that lamppost. My OCD is going to hate me. Great. And for whatever reason, I can't click anything now or see my mouse. Welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon, the beta, guys. So I guess I'm going to have to end this one here. I can rotate my camera, but I can't see my mouse. I can't click anything. I mean, you can see where my mouse is, but I'm clicking right now, and it's not letting me do the scenery. So we'll finish up the scenery in the next episode, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini-series of the Roller Coaster Tycoon beta. Uh, definitely going to be doing more of this when it comes out, but uh, we got a couple more episodes of this, and then it's going to go away for a while. Thanks once again, guys, for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.